Hey guys, I'm going to fall here. In a bit. Just did my first real water change. Probably in a while. Like, like two weeks. As you can see, you can really tell that I haven't done one. I kind of scrubbed the allergy off. I had a little trouble doing that. I had a little bit of trouble with getting all the black stuff out. And, you know, I was using just a little, I don't know what size this is, tubing. And I really cleaned up this tank. Now it's moving in over. Right now I got like a little carbon pad in there. And cleaned that off. Got all the slime off of there. And those are just some of the white things. Just some of those like white little polyps and stuff. But uh, this rock is almost covered in algae. I don't know if that's a good thing or if it's a bad thing, but if you guys know, just let me know. Um, fish, doing good. Coral, he's a little sucked up right now because I accidentally got this side of it with the siphon a big time. Like, got like an entire thing in there. This side got a little bit. And this side, or this coral, I think I finally figured out what's on here. So. I know I have those zoanthids. I don't know what type they are, though. If you guys know what type they are, you know. Shoot me a message. But, uh, got some pulsing zinnias. Some more pulsing zinnias. And I think another colony pulsing zinnias right there. And there's, like, this little red thing. Like, let's get the end of this thing. Uh, like, kind of, like, right there. Like, um, kind of like to the almost to the right a little bit to the pulsing zinnias. You can see it a little bit, a little bit to the right of those pulsing zinnias in the back. Not the not this weird thing over here. Not not a not that, but it's like right over in here. But yeah, other than that, you know, I did a little bit of rock work. There's my algae goby, or blenny. I don't know what they're called, so. Flame scalp, he was right there. He fell off when I was changing everything around. But you know, now he's over there. It looks like he's eating a lot. There's the blenny. He's getting fat. Like, he's gotten fatter than what the other place was, or at my office. So, I don't know what that means, if I have good copiopods or something, or just have too much algae. <laughs> but, uh, do you, know, do you guys know how to, like, handle all that right there? So, you know, I don't know how. Um, I think I did about 20% water change today. Kind of pre-mixed my salt and water today, this time, too. Uh, so, yeah. Um, mixed everything up together in the trusty bucket. Trusty Menard's bucket. <laughs> um, added my old lighting on here. It's a 18 watt uh, Core Life light. Hopefully, help produce some. I don't know something. Produce something. I hope. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. What else? I think that my main problem with the algae is my lighting. Because I get up for school at about 5.40, 5.30-ish. And that's when I turn my lights. And I normally don't turn them off until it starts getting dark out. And plus at like 5.40 where I live, the sun starts rising. So you know, Chicago. It's like, it, it, I turn on my purples. Like right now, I'm probably just going to turn on my purples even though it's daylight still. So I'm thinking like an hour early. Help with the algae. I don't know. Telling everything it's time to go to bed. <coughs> uh, going to the local fish store this weekend. For LFS. 
to get maybe something just like this one just right here. I don't know what, maybe six line RAS, something, but look at how the, this tank looks. Focus. Yeah, those guys from over there, they've been starting to swim over here a lot lately. We cut, but since uh, now that I've done the partial water change, no, not anymore. Just, nope. Well, um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, cat I don't know if he's going to sleep, I don't know. Is he going to sleep? I think so. Um, thinking about getting rid of the snails and going and buying hermit crabs. Hermit crabs, hermit crabs, hermit crabs. Snails produce a lot, a lot of poop. A lot of poop. That's all I know. It's too much for me to handle. Because, like, when I was cleaning out this, alone, like the sump alone, filled up my bucket about this tall, this, with this much poop in there. Like literally, just like, from like, I don't know, here's the bottom, to right here, the entire bottom was just covered in poop. So, I don't know. Gosh, I don't know anymore with it. Uh, I think that was about it for all this video. But, you know, should I get a RAS for this tank? So, like maybe a six line RAS? Or how big do chalk basket? Because those guys are pretty cool. You know, shoot me shoot me a message, comment, rate, subscribe, you know. A whole spiel. But uh no, no. A tank. Setting up the reef. Here's my one, two, three, four, five, six. Six things on here. <laughs> Alright, see you later, you guys.